Yes, guys, what's going on? Hashtag Shory here. Welcome back to another video on the Hashtag United Esports channel. And as you can see by the title here today, ladies and gentlemen, we have got ourselves some FIFA 21 final sort of end game custom tactics. Now that we're at the end of this sort of team of the season period, we've got all these juiced up players in the game. It also means we kind of have a good idea now of all the best formations, etc., along with like the player instructions and that type of stuff. And that is all the type of things we're going to be running through today in order for you guys to maximize your amount of wins in foot champions. Now, there will still be a few more promos coming up this year. I imagine, obviously, team of the season is the big one. But, you know, we've got some Euro stuff that could happen. Obviously, Summer Heat as well last year was a big thing. So there's still lots to play for. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned in the previous video, we are going to be back uploading as much as possible on the channel. So all your guys' support is greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump straight into these custom tactics. Right, ladies and gentlemen, and into the squad screen here, we have got ourselves my main Xbox account, the account I've been using all year to compete on and stuff. Obviously, the team at this point is absolutely ridiculous, especially after all the team of the season rewards that we've had on offer throughout this entire period. But obviously, we're not too bothered about the team. We are much more bothered about the custom tactics, which we will get into right this second. We have got ourselves, as per usual, in any custom tactics video, four formations that I think for you guys can be very good towards this sort of end game period of FIFA. Let's just start off with the five back. Now, I'm holding my hands up straight away here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not an ideal situation having a five back. Obviously, we want to have fun, etc. and stuff like that, but this is the tactics for you guys to try and win as many games as possible. So yeah, the five back here, I'm not going to touch on the five back as much as the other formations just because I feel like we've all seen the five back all year long. We know what it does. I'm sure you guys have played against it enough. The next formation is the one that we're going to be talking about in quite some detail. But I like to have the tactics still very, very balanced on this. You obviously could lower the depth a fair bit if you really wanted, you know, to just absolutely camp on the edge of your box. This is my ultra defensive formation, but I don't like to have it too defensive to the point where I just feel like I'm so pinned back, if that makes sense. So this is obviously still quite balanced, all this, you know, the width, the players in box, etc. But you could definitely lower this, in my opinion. It just depends on your guys' types of play style. Obviously, one thing important to remember in a custom tactics video from anybody you watch, you might not necessarily, you know, want to use or copy absolutely everything. It's just little things might be useful and helpful to that type of stuff. But I personally always use the 5-2-1-2 because I like having the little cam in the middle. However, some people will definitely use the 5-3-2, which might even be more or defensive because you can have the three center mids being center defensive midfielders. So it's just an absolute nightmare. And also I do apologize for the right backs at center back, ladies and gentlemen. It just, it's just got to happen, hasn't it? I think you come up against it so much to the point where you're there, like if you can't beat them, you've just got to join them. So hands are held up for that. I certainly do apologize. For the defensive style, you could obviously go drop back as well, but I just like keeping it on balance. That's what I've found works the best for me, especially because when you are trying to close out a game in this type of formation, you know, that's what I would say. You want to switch to this the most when you're trying to close out a game. When you do win the ball back, you still want to be able to go up and attack and you know if you can get that next goal going your way you've probably killed the game off which is absolutely sensational scene so i would say you do want to keep some sort of attack about you obviously the five backs absolutely amazing as well because of stopping through balls the through balls meta in this game obviously we know it all so well at this point of the year is absolutely ridiculous so what a five back does a lot of the time is there's so many players there for the ai to just one of them's going to get in the way of some sort of through ball so that is definitely a reason why the five back has been such an overused formation this year. And getting into the instructions, one thing to definitely touch on as well is the way that these fullbacks with the run type here, we've got them on overlap, both the left back and the right back. But yeah, stay back while attacking an overlap on these because like I said, it is our defensive formation, but you can also just trigger the runs using L1 anyway. We've got the two center midfielders here on stay back while attacking, and then the strikers and everything here is just on quite balanced. You could really bring the strikers on come back on the fence if you wanted, if you literally want to go absolute full drop back mode on them. But yeah, the five back is just absolutely crazy. I said I wasn't going to talk about this for too long, and here I am. <laughs> so next up, guys, we have got ourselves the 4-3-1-2, which I'll be honest, a few of you guys watching this video might have tuned into some of my streams over, especially this team of the season period, where we have discovered that this 4-3-1-2 is very similar to the 4-1-2-1-2 diamond formation. It's probably the most broken formation. I'm going to put this out there. Most broken formation in any FIFA ever, I would say. It is absolutely crazy. I have never seen a formation where you can have so many players going forward at once. But then also, when you lose the ball, your team just gets back so fast. It's absolutely ridiculous. I would say to you guys, and I, and I hate to say this because I absolutely hate playing against this formation, but if you want to win more games, this is probably the way to go. And to be honest, this formation probably does make the game quite fun. 
my tactics here for it are very, very balanced, etc. I just have balance, balance a lot of the time on my teams. But I would definitely say to you guys, a lot of people in this formation will use fast buildup. I personally don't myself because I think you can ping pong the ball around enough in this formation without needing fast buildup on. However, this is certainly what people would use. And then another tactic people would use a lot is press after possession loss. We all know what the press after possession loss tactic does, as you can literally see here in this like small image on the right. Your players obviously just absolutely dive onto players as soon as you lose the ball. And this formation does it better than anything I've ever seen in any FIFA. Even though that's not what I use, I know a lot of pro players certainly use it themselves and it's a very good tactic. So it's just what works for you. Just, I've, I've honestly gone full Roy Hodgson here. Very, very glad tactic. Let's get into the instructions for this as well. So I've got CR7 and Mbappe, two strikers, on getting behind in this formation. We've got the fullbacks on balance, but honestly, the way that these fullbacks get involved in this formation is like nothing I've ever seen before. Vieira on stay back while attacking and cover center. And then our other three center mids are basically just on balanced. When you guys are playing against this, you might struggle yourself. So you either can switch to this or another formation that can sort of counter it relatively okay is the five back, I would say or like a 3-5-2 as well, which we've got sort of a similar formation to that coming up later into this video. But it's just the fact that you have the fast build-up, you have so many players in such a narrow way going forward so quickly that it's just absolute through ball FC with this and it's so difficult for the opponent to defend. Yeah, I need to stop talking about it or I'm gonna lose my head. <laughs> so that is the 4-3-1-2. Once again, just very good formation and I would certainly say for you guys to give that a try and it will help you get wins in foot champions. I can almost guarantee you that. And next up, we have got my bread and butter, ladies and gentlemen, my very balanced 4-4-2 formation. The formation I've used basically throughout the whole year. Tom uses a very similar formation as well his tactics are slightly different but the formation is very similar i think you might use the other version of the 442 the one that has the cdms instead of the two cms but as you guys can see here very very balanced formation here now you obviously can up the width you can up the depth and all that type of stuff if you guys don't know actually seven depth this year basically means that your team will offside trap for you sometimes that's been something that i've not known whether to use or not too much this year but again not too much to say about these types of ones because i have them all very very balanced i can't say much more boys it's just so balanced the 442 is just so balanced but let's get into the custom tactics that I've got for that because that is obviously more important in this situation. We've got getting behind on the strikers. 4-4-2 is a great formation to do some through balls as well, especially with the fact that your wingers can, you know, do a big through ball round to your strikers. So having getting behind on your strikers is absolutely key here. Now, as you can see, I've also got come back on the fence on these. I think I might have come back on the fence on almost every single player here other than Bruno Fernandes. Everybody in the team is basically on comeback. That's basically because I like having Bruno to be somebody who can sort of help you get forward a little bit. That's why Vieira is going to be the one who sort of sits back more. Bruno is going to try and get forward a little bit more. But Mbappe and Ronaldo are on comeback on the fence for when, you know, your opponent's attacking on the edge of your box and you might need a few extra bodies bodies there. This certainly helps out with that. And the exact same goes for the wingers in Sancho and Rashford there. Not too much to say on the fullbacks in this one. I just have them on stay back while attacking. I find personally a lot of the time in pro FIFA that if you want your fullbacks to get forward, you can, you know, do a one-two with the centre midfielder and trigger the run a lot of the time. I don't want my fullback bombing forward loads of the time because if you get caught with your fullback out of position in FIFA, it can be very, very costly. I'll tell you that for free. Now, the last formation in this video, guys, this is just an absolute go for it just the head is in absolute columbia france <laughs> name any country on the world you guys know what i'm saying though you're down a few goals you need to pull a game back and i've certainly switched this formation many times this year and had some success with this now the 3412 is essentially a 352 they're basically the exact same formation we've got constant pressure on here eight width eight depth you obviously could just whack this up to 10 in some games along with long ball which is going to extend your team out even further basically you know if you've got a goal kit your team's going to be pushed up really far obviously we've got all these tactics on extremely high as well so constant pressure one thing i'll say about this is i'm sure you guys have used constant pressure enough this year but it's worth mentioning that you don't want to put constant pressure on ever at like the beginning of a game especially the way they've got it quite balanced now in the game so if you go sort of 30 40 minutes on constant pressure you will see the difference in your players stamina so i would say a lot of the time that i would switch to this particular formation would obviously be like i said when we're a goal or two down but it will often be sort of after the 60th, 70th minute, that type of thing. Because if you do it too early into a game, even if you go 2-0 down, 3-0 down in the 20th minute, 30th minute, don't worry too much about putting constant pressure on. Just worry about that later into the game. Because that's where you might have your opponent on strings right near the end of the game. But yeah, constant pressure and long ball work very well as a tactic together. And then more importantly, talking about the formation, yeah, the 3-5-2, it counters a lot of formations in the game, basically. 
having Rashford and Sancho, obviously it looks a little bit like a five back, but your wingers are obviously just pushed up so much further, which does allow you to have great balance. Now, obviously there are going to be some negatives to a three back. Like if your opponent's rocking like a four, two, four or something, and their wingers are getting away from you, etc. that type of thing. But you know, there's got to be negatives to every single formation. Let's be honest. But yeah, with these custom tactics as well, we've got getting behind on the strikers. Again, we are just trying to get forward as much as possible here and score as many goals as possible. Got Bruno Fernandes on stay forward as well. We literally just want the team flying up the pitch. The midfielders on get forward as well. Now, the wingers, you could whack on get forward as well, but it doesn't really matter too much because they're sort of going to stay out wide in them positions, especially with long ball on anyway. We've not gone as far as putting the defenders on join the attack either. These can just stay on stay back while attacking because you obviously, like I said again, you do need some sort of defensive help in the game with you guys, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, a long story short with these custom tactics, guys, is the five back, obviously more one to sort of close out a game. The 4-3-1-2 is certainly one that I'd say to you guys to definitely give a go. As much as I find it a nightmare to play against, and I don't really want to recommend it to more people at this point of the game where, you know, we just want to get as many wins as possible in foot champions. This is the best formation in the game without a shadow of a doubt, in my opinion. We'll see this a lot at the playoffs and the World Cup and the other big events that are coming up later in the year. It won't necessarily be the most meta formation, potentially. It might not be what everybody uses, but I can certainly see a lot of people using this unless the meta of the game somehow changes again. Obviously, the 3-4-1-2, this is when we're just absolutely going for a game. But this works very, very well and does counter a lot of formations for you guys, especially late into a game when you're on constant pressure. And then, like I said about the 4-4-2, it's just my sort of, it's my bread and butter. It's my balanced formation. A lot of the pros do use 4-4-2. These two formations here, 4-4-2 and 4-3-1-2, are probably the two most commonly used formations this year from pros, along with the five back. So we've gone with some very, very meta formations here today. But I hope this has helped you guys out. I hope this is giving you an idea of sort of a few things in the game. Obviously, a lot of these formations cater towards this through ball meta that is in the game at the moment, because that's just the meta and that is the absolute sweat fest. That is Weekend League. But hopefully you guys did enjoy that video and find it all helpful. If you did, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. Let us know down in the comments down below any other video ideas you might want to see. We've got a few ideas obviously in the pipeline, but any more that you guys want to suggest to us would be absolutely massively appreciated. If you guys haven't already as well, make sure to check out the previous video we've just uploaded on the hashtag esports channel, which is basically sort of a best moments montage from all the moments when we actually made this esports channel sort of near the start of FIFA 19-ish. Thank you very much for all watching, guys. We'll see you all on the next one. And until then, don't forget to hashtag it.